in this section we will take a look at how we can engage our customers and how we can retain our customers so that they come back to us again we will discuss a couple of new features such as the serverless development and deployment we will take a very quick overview of azure functions we will also study the cognitive services that are provided by microsoft azure and how we can notify our users or our own developers or the customer support managers classically the solutions were developed keeping in mind that an application will be built and it will be deployed on a web server and our customers would be sending a request over to it they would be sending over some queries which will be stored in the databases and so on and so forth with the advent of serverless development of the solutions more and more enterprises are looking forward to developing serverless client management services if not the client management at least the service should be able to respond to a couple of queries by the client for example you might already know of the chat ops concept serverless is no different however it is much more similar to the devops only that there is no ops part in it the serverless architecture is a bit different than the monolith application development pattern because now not only just we build our services following the microservice architecture but we also try to ignore the operational side of the development as much as we can so that our teams only have to worry about the code that they write not the way it executes and how it scales so to recapture applications only have to target the runtime for example c sharp's dotnet framework or javascript's node.js or python or java and to make sure that the runtime that they are targeting supports the serverless framework on the cloud Microsoft Azure supports a couple of languages and runtimes for its serverless development. Another major difference is that your applications are not developed or deployed as a single process. Instead, they are developed as modules or simple functions, if you may like to call them that. This means that your modules must execute real quickly, like within a couple of milliseconds. If your function requires a long-running task or it has to wait for other services to respond before it can process properly then you might want to utilize some queue services and handle the bindings or triggers on top of them and the azure functions which is a serverless runtime by microsoft azure it is basically deployed on top of azure app service and utilizes all the basic functionalities supported and provided by microsoft azure app service and provides a couple of more options on top of it the basic design or the architectural design of this is that on top of the Azure App Service, you basically have a function application running. And within each application, you have a couple of task runners, which are basically the tasks that your application has to perform, such as to notify a user, to capture a web request, or to process a file that has recently been uploaded to a cloud service. And not just the Azure functions support the serverless architecture, there are other instances by Azure that support serverless development and deployment such as the Azure Container Instances. It hosts your containers in a serverless fashion where you don't have to think about the scalability or high availability of the solutions. You only have to worry about the code that you write. And in this way, your applications don't even have to be serverless in nature. It can be a containerized package written as a microservice application. And the underlying service, which is the Azure Container Instance, it manages the scalability the redeploying upon failure and every other aspect of the solution and most of the times you can quickly just go ahead and connect it with the azure storage tables for a really very cheap backend database instead of having to provision and deploy a complete azure cosmos db service which is sometimes expensive and on top of microsoft azure there are several other options which support serverless based solutions azure function which we have just talked about is a service that supports programming the functions and then deploying them on the cloud. Then we have Azure Logic Apps, which provides a graphical interface to configure the bindings between the services and the triggers. Azure Container Instances, as we have just talked about, are for the containers. And there are so many other options supporting the serverless development of the solutions. 